Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Nev's Garage. Now, if this is your first time joining us here, please hit that odd subscribe button and also toggle on the little bell. You're going to want to do that because next time a new video comes out, you'll get notified. Don't go search my other back catalogue now though, because we've got a really cool episode this week. Right here, we're going to be talking about block dowels. Okay, now these little bad boys locate our block to our head in the right spot with the gasket in between so that it all lines up all perfectly. Rightio. But when we're going to reface the deck or the head, they get in the way. So we're going to pull them out every now and then. Rightio. Well, not every now and then, but when we're going to do some you know, work on the deck. So uh, how do we get them out? Well, um, gonna be looking at today. So come on, let's get into it. All right guys, so here's our dowels, right? Now this is an EA82, only has two dowels. And once they've been in there for a, well, you know, since new, they're quite hard to get out. Now, you can try with vice grips, okay, but they are in there very, very, very tight and you run a very good chance of damaging your deck, okay? So we're not going to be using them today, I'm going to show you an easier way. I'm going to be getting them out with a power drill, all right? Okay, so what we do first is we just center punch the middle, or as close as we can to the middle of the dowel. I'm going to do both of them. Like that, okay. Okay guys, what we need to do now is cover all the deck and all the galleries so that the swarf doesn't go inside the block. So we're just going to moisten a rag with some brake cleaner. Just to get rid of any oil residue off the deck. Like that, and then we're just going to cover it all with duct tape. All right, so now we get a nice, fine, sharp drill bit, like a two and a half or a three in our drill. Bit of cutting fluid. Remember guys, there's always time for lube. And then away we go, down the center of our dowel. Okay, now that the 2.5 is through, we're gonna step it up to a six. It's that one. And now depending on how big the dowel is, we're gonna just go almost the same size as it. So these are a 10 mil dowel, and this is a 7.5 drill bit. Okay, there we go. Just clean the swarf off. Okay, so you can see the dowels there, the hole straight down the middle. Okay, we can take a tape off now. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, because the dowels are really thin and flimsy now, they're only mild steel, what we're gonna do 
is just get a pin punch and a lump hammer and we're just basically going to crush them okay so we don't want to hit the deck of the block so I'm just going to smack it like this okay Now you can see now it's all misshaped. And it's spinning with the punch, that means it's loose in the hole. Okay. So once we've got it like that, once we've got it all crushed and loose, then we can just grab it with our vice grips. And pull it out okay so that's one out so now we do the same with this one now this is an internal one okay so as we crush it we've got to try not to push it down inside the block give him a wriggle and out she comes how's that got them both out now without damaging the deck Well guys, there you have it. That's how easy it is to remove engine block dowels out of, well, engine blocks. So that uh, pretty much wraps this episode of Nev's Garage up. Now make sure you subscribe to us here on YouTube so you can catch us next time. And uh, also you might want to jump on our Instagram, at Gosson Media is our handle. Like and follow us there um, because you never know when you might see a pretty good behind the scenes post from us here at uh, Nev's Garage. Um, anyway, till next time, thanks for tuning in.